Hi, in this GroupWise 2012 What's New video, I'm going to show you how to send an SMS or cellular text message, how to use the new GroupWise Skype integration, and I'll also explore the click to call functionality. Before I can use the GroupWise 2012 SMS message functionality, I need to add some information about the cell phone carrier of the person I want to contact. To do this, I open the contact from my personal address book and expand the contact information. When I click the Contact tab, I can see their mobile phone number displayed. By clicking the arrow next to it and choosing Set Cellular Carrier, I can browse a list of common cellular carriers. If I need a more comprehensive list of carriers, I can select More to display it. For the sake of this demo, I'll choose one of the common carriers, Sprint. Then I save my changes. Now that I've added the carrier, I can send an SMS text message from the GroupWise client. From the Summary tab, I can click the SMS phone number to open a message window, type a message, and click Send. When I'm done, I close the contact and address book. Any text messages you send are found in your Sent Messages folder. If the contact replies to your text message, the reply appears as an email message in your mailbox folder. In addition to SMS messaging capabilities, Skype has been integrated with contacts in the GroupWise 2012 client. In order to use this Skype integration, I need to configure GroupWise to communicate with Skype. After Skype is installed on my computer, I open the Tools menu. From there, I select Options, then Environment. Under the Default Actions tab, I select Skype as my default telephony provider. Next, I click the General tab and select Launch Skype at Startup. After I've done that, I click OK and close the menu. If Skype is running in the system tray, I can initiate a Skype call from a personal address book. I find the contact I want and click the phone number that I want to call. Skype launches and I can complete my call from there. This process can be executed from either the address card view or from the presence icon inside of an open contact. Because this is a test system, and we've used a placeholder for the phone number, the call goes unanswered. By using Skype in conjunction with your computer's default telephony provider, you can also use the click-to-call capabilities of GroupWise. Click-to-call functionality is present in GroupWise 2012 after users configure their default telephony provider, whether they select Skype or the default Windows telephony provider. After the provider is configured, phone numbers in contacts, messages, tasks, and notes display as hot links. For example, this email message contains a phone number in the message body. If I click it, Skype opens, and I can complete my call from Skype. GroupWise 2012 brings all of your communication tools together in one place to help you keep in contact when it matters most. To learn more about Novell products, or to access in-depth documentation for GroupWise, please visit novell.com slash documentation. Thanks for watching.